Hi, family. Welcome to yet another amazing time with the Lord. This is 9th August Friday, and let us spend time with the Rhapsody of Realities. The theme for today is Things Have Changed. Hallelujah, family. What an amazing, wow, and a powerful theme for us. Things have changed. Let us read the memory verse for today, Mark 16 15. Mark 16 15. And he said unto them, Go ye all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Again, he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Hallelujah. So powerful. Now, let us read together. The Lord Jesus sent us to preach the gospel. The gospel is good news. It is not exactly good news when all you know or hear is God is going to change things for you. That's hope. Amen. But the good news is that things have changed. Hallelujah. So stop hoping for things to change because they have already changed. Hallelujah. This is so amazing, family. So powerful. Everything has changed, right? So that's that narrative that we all have, that God is going to change things for us, you know, has already been changed. Everything that we want has already been done by God. This is so amazing, family. Now, but a quest also saying that this should further help you understand that the Bible says in 2 Corinthians 5 17, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Hallelujah. You are not the weak seeking strength. The Lord himself has become your strength. Psalm 27 verse 1. Powerful family. So we are not weak, right? Because we are already strong because God is our strength. And you are not poor as we think you are. You are rich because Jesus Christ is our riches. What a powerful sermon and a, and a very powerful text from Pastor Christ to all of us. Let us read on. Perhaps you were sickly before you were born again. Now that has changed. All things are passed away. You are a new creature in Christ with an incorruptible life. That sickness proof. Hallelujah. I don't know uh, the person who is reading this with me. If you are sick, remember you are no more sick because it has changed. God has already changed that narrative. You are no more sick. You are strong because we are born again with an incorruptible seed. Hallelujah. A life that is beyond death. A life that is beyond sicknesses. So you are healed in the name of Jesus. Let us read on. The same change occurred in your finances. Hallelujah. Your state and estate changed. When you came into Christ, 2 Corinthians 8 verse 9 says, For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for your sake he became poor, that ye through his poverty might be rich. Wow, family, so powerful. <laughs> amazing, amazing. So, we are no more poor, family. You have been made rich. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You are rich. Furthermore, you don't have a problem with sin. Now that you are in Christ, you have been justified to walk in newness of life. Amen. Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism into death. That like as Christ was raised up from the dead 
by the glory of the Father. Even so, we also walk in the newness of life. Romans 6 4. This is so amazing, family. So we are no more sinners because we died with Christ and we also what? We were raised with Him from death. So through this, you and I, we are sin free. Hallelujah. Truly, things have changed. Let us read on, please. The sin nature was supplanted by God's nature of righteousness when you were born again. Amen. So if you know that if you are born again, that sin nature that we had from Adam you know, was supplanted by God's nature, was swapped, was changed by God's nature of righteousness. So you are no more a sinner, but you are now a righteous person in Christ Jesus. Let us read on. You are now not just righteous, but also the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Amazing. From this is so powerful. See yourself in this light. You aren't merely set free from sin. You have a life, a nature that is sin free. Hallelujah. Family, we live a life that is sin free because Jesus Christ has already you no know, supplanted this sinful nature of us and now when we were born again we are now the righteousness of god in christ jesus this is so powerful there are some of these qualities of the one who is born again you didn't do anything to achieve any of these it's simply the result of what Christ has done. And that's good news. Hallelujah. This is a very powerful word for us today. So that let us walk with a chip on our chest that we are no more sinners. No. We are righteous people in Christ Jesus. Now let us have our confession for today. Confess this with, in faith with me. I continually walk in the reality of my heritage and identity in Christ. I'm righteous, healthy, prosperous, and victorious. I walk in the newness of life, enjoying the fullness of of the blessings of Christ. Hallelujah. So for further studies, 2 Corinthians 5, 17 to 21 and Ephesians 2, verse 4 to 9. God bless your family. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.